Okay, welcome back to the third and final video in this series about traveling as a crew member and what the process is like starting from your home all the way to when you first sign on the ship. If you just stumbled upon here, I have all three videos listed in the description below in order. In the last video, we talked about getting from the airport to the hotel, getting your meal vouchers, and then how to do your reimbursements. In this last video, I'm going to be going over how to get from the hotel to the ship, dealing with customs, meeting with personnel, and then finally signing onto the ship for the first time. Let's go. Okay, so you wake up in the morning, you double check your room, you make sure you got everything, all your bags, and most importantly, your chargers, your cell phone and laptop chargers, the most forgotten item in a hotel room. Don't forget them. You go downstairs, check out with the front desk, and use your last meal voucher to go get breakfast in the dining room. Now look, if you're not a breakfast type of person, eat a full meal at breakfast. If you're only the type of person that eats like small fruit, maybe a yogurt or something in the morning, eat a full meal at breakfast. If you're the type of person that's a vegetarian, eat a full meal at breakfast. Look, full meal is gonna be vital because your first day is going to be a very, very, very long day. And you might only have about five minutes here or there actually grab something to eat. You're gonna need your energy. Take advantage of the meal, your last meal at the hotel. So depending on where in the world you're signing on to the ship will determine how many ships are actually sailing into that port, which then determines how many buses they'll send for a pickup. Now I've sailed out of New York City several times and each and every time they've sent at least three coach buses. Now these coach buses, sometimes they're labeled per cruise line, sometimes they're not. It's not a big deal because all the ships are they're going to be sailing out of the same dockyard. Once the driver's ready, they'll open up the jockeys. Don't even think about it. Just throw your bags below and jump on board. Depending on if you're leaving on a weekday or a weekend, it can take anywhere from about 30 minutes to an hour. Lay back, take a nap, listen to music, do whatever you got to do. But this will be your last time to relax for the next week or two. So for this last part, I'll use the example of the cruise terminal in New York City since I've gone through it multiple times. So what's gonna happen is the bus is gonna drop you off about a tenth of a mile from where you need to be. Just go back below, grab your bags, and uh, just start following the crowd. Make a friend on the bus, preferably someone who's signing on to the same ship as you are. Uh, most crew members have been doing this for decades and they'll know exactly where to go. Basically what you're looking for is a big truck tunnel. You'll see a lot of guests that are leaving the ship as well as a lot of guests that are coming on board and they'll be using an elevator to go into the customs area there. You as a crew member have the wonderful luxury of waiting in the smelly truck tunnel. And if it's winter, have fun. I remember signing on there in February once and the ship was delayed and we ended up waiting there for about two hours. And believe me, that wind kicks up a lot faster in that truck tunnel. While you're here, you're gonna to wanna to have your medical and your passport ready to hand in to the personnel manager. Now look, I don't care how many corporate videos those cruise lines put out. Those personnel managers will never be anywhere near as happy to see you. Embarkation is their worst upon worst days. They're stressed, they're grumpy, and most will be straight up assholes to you. Depending on how many crew members you're signing on with that day, they'll probably just check you off with uh, groups of 10 to 12 where you'll walk further into the truck tunnel. You'll take all of your bags, your check bags, your carry-on bags, your purses, everything, and you'll put them down on a yellow line. They'll, you'll then be uh, ordered to stand against a wall about 10 feet away and a customs agent will come through with a dog and sniff all the bags. Now's the moment of truth on whether or not you can get that weed on board. Seriously, don't try it. Now at this point, you'll grab all your belongings and the personnel manager will guide you through the rest of the truck tunnel all the way through to the gangway until you finally board the ship. All right, so I got another video coming up about what it's gonna be like your first day on board. If I already have it uploaded, you can click right here and go straight to it. If not, go ahead and click over here and subscribe, and this way you can be notified once it becomes available.
see you soon.